A lifetime trust is set up for estate planning purposes. It's usually a discretionary trust, which is a very flexible trust. There are a class of beneficiaries, potential beneficiaries, who can benefit from the trust. There are trustees who manage and administer the trust. Often it will be the settlor who is a trustee and the settlor is the person who creates the trust, adds the funds to the trust. The settlor prepares a letter of wishes setting out how the settlor would like the trustees to run the trust and when distributions are to be made for the benefit of the beneficiaries. It's clearly of more importance after the settlor's death because the settlor isn't then on, on hand to say what his wishes are. It's very likely that the trustees will follow those wishes unless they have very good reason not to do so and if they don't follow them then the beneficiaries uh, can legitimately raise concerns and the trust can be brought to an end at any time. One other variation on trust is it's often income tax efficient for beneficiaries to be entitled to the income from their trust because then the income is treated as theirs directly. A lifetime trust is appropriate where you have assets that you don't need, that you would like to give away. But if you're nervous about making an outright gift and you want to make sure that the assets you're giving are protected for your children and the next generations, then it's appropriate to set up the lifetime trust. There are limits on what can be put into trust during your lifetime. Each person can transfer £325,000 into trust before inheritance tax becomes payable and that can be done every seven years. So a husband and wife could transfer £650,000 into a trust each or a joint trust if they wish to every seven years. Having said that, certain assets uh, can pass into trust entirely free from tax and an unlimited amount of those assets can be put into trust, certain business assets or agricultural assets and also excess income can be placed into trust as well. One very straightforward way that trusts are used is where you want to help your children acquire their first property. So what you can do is set up a trust, perhaps put £325,000 into trust and lend it to your son and daughter who can then use that to, to buy the property. The benefit of that is that the assets are outside your estate and they're passed into the trust but they're not in the estate of your child because the child owes the debt to the trustees. Trusts have many different uses and to find out how we can help you, please get in touch. Thank you.